Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we are in post ban standard, no agent, no fires, so let's try out some decks. Um, we played an Esper Doom Foretold list, my pet deck, and actually ran into someone playing my deck, um, which was kind of cool. Uh, Arena decided to be Arena and crashed halfway through, and then forced an update, so um, that was fun. Uh, so this is another deck I've been kind of working on. It is... Uh, we saw variations of this deck uh, in past standards. It's a Sultai mid-range ramp style deck. Uh, turbo casualties, if you may. Um, this one's a little bit more creature focused as opposed to the control variants. Um, and it's playing a couple cards I want to try out. Uh, Cheville, uh, Bane of Monsters. So basically a 2 mana 1-3. At the beginning of your upkeep, you get to put a bounty counter on uh, a permanent your opponent controls. And then when it dies, uh, you gain three life and draw a card. Um, so this is kind of a card advantage engine. Stops the early aggressive cards. Can give you some life gain and stuff like that. Um, the rest of the deck is basically trying to get lands into play and kind of ramp out. So you have Growth Spiral, Uro uh, to kind of get ahead. Uh, Nisa to double mana. You could pump that into Hydroid Crisis or Casualties of War. Uh, and then you just got a lot of disruption and removal. Agonizing Remorse is kind of like the thought seize of the deck. Uh, you have Cry Carnarium, which really doesn't hit anything in our deck other than Atrus. Um, Murderous Rider is removal. Uh, Vraska's removal. Uh, then you have Questing Beast as pressure for like the mid ramp decks. Uh, Atrus's card advantage puts stuff into the graveyard that you can then escape, so it can indirectly find you Uro. Same with Tamio. And then a couple Nisas on the top end to close out the game. Uh, land base wise, I think we're playing 26 lands. Uh, so something to keep in mind, I've seen these lists go upwards of 29 lands. Uh, but I wanted to go a little bit more dense on the threats. Sideboard wise, the Soul Guide Lantern vs. Graveyard, Negate vs. Control, Noxious Grasp when we need it. Uh, another Cry, an Extinction Event vs. Aggro Dex, Ceratops vs. Counter Space Dex. Thought Distortion is a great card in the control matchups. And another Casualties of War as a catch all removal. Um, so let's queue this up, see how it goes. So really with this deck, you can, you can probably turn three Nisa. No, not in this deck. Well, technically, you can go Growth Spiral on two. No, you can't. You don't have the other early ramp. Um... I think we try this out. I can Agonizing Remorse on two, I can Atrus to refill, and then Hydroid Crisis. I would love like a Growth Spiral. Uh, in the dark without knowing what our opponent's playing. Uh, either way I need to shock, so let's just play Golgari. Okay, Temple, this can be Cat Oven. Save the life here. So it's Cat Oven. I'm going to get rid of the Dread Horde Butcher. We don't have an answer to it right now, and it can get out of control, and it also deals damage. Okay, so Priest I'm not as worried about right now. I was hoping to not draw that many lands. It's probably Croaky's list. He was working on various Cat Oven decks today. So, Atros is likely going to be sacrificed, but... It'll suffice. Cry, we main board two of them, so that's something we're going to want to try to find here. They do get to priest, sack these, then bring them back, and then be able to priest again. So I would like to find some removal. So obviously take the pile of two. So this is good. I can murderous rider this priest at least. And then the following turn I can crisis. I'm 
interesting. I just went with the card advantage there. Heartless Act is actually quite good here. It lets me kill that without having to pay the mana or pay the life. One thing we need to be cautious of in this matchup is they'll have Claim of the Firstborn, so this Hydra Crisis is a bit of a liability. Same as it goes with Uro. reason I didn't kill it right away was with Calls, they can get it back. So if they cast Calls, then I'll uh, kill it in response. Looks like they are going to be casting calls. Let's just take the damage here. So second priest. I think here I'm going to do this because this lets me play out Murderous Rider and then hold up uh, Heartless Act. This can also let me start gaining some life. They may be incentivized to cast this Calls this turn. Kill this in response so they can't sacrifice. Do have a butcher? Um. I want to try to find, like, Cry. Okay, we did get Cry for the following turn. So depending on what they do, I'm probably going to sack... The Murderous... Or the Hydrate Crisis. Sack with the trigger. Crisis is in the air. That gives me life. So I think I sack Crisis here. This is it. I'm going to get rid of the forest here. I want to be able to hit this Croxa in the graveyard. I'm doing this now. Gains me some life. And this lets me go get rid of their Croxa. Don't want to deal with you. I am hoping. Mayhem Devil. And just a bunch of lands. This crisis will let me gain some life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. X six leaves me two mana open. X four. I don't want to be dead on board if they steal this. So 
Just tapping really weird. Because they have claim, I don't want to make this big enough that I can be killed on just like a steel and sack. Can also hit him for. Ah, that's dangerous. Guy's ghost form's pretty interesting. Them drawing like oven and that's pretty gross. So let me scry first. I'm looking for removal here. Taimyo is actually pretty solid. So one, two, one, two. So I need two, two. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I can do everything. I am Tamio. My Tamio is likely dead here. But they're going to have to decide what they want to kill now. They can get this back. Going to attack first. I want them to basically put triggers. On things other than. Uh, questing beast. Actually should I have. Exiled first, so they could take the ping, they can deal some damage there. Yeah, I probably should have cried first because then it would have exiled. Now they get it back. Sequencing was wrong there. Because they have another cat in the graveyard, so they just get it back, anyways. Now they ping me for a whole bunch. Yeah, I should have exiled first. I had the line and I screwed it up. Yeah, now we're just dead. Double mayhem. It's two. Comes in drains. Comes in drains. Oh. They don't see lethal. Keep Tamio alive. Question is, do I draw a card? Take two damage. I guess you do not want my research has been compromised. Yeah, at this point I probably have to. Okay, Uro's not bad. 
so is Nisa. So let's one, two, three, four. I need the blue mana more. Five. We go Nisa. We will go Uro. Oh, I guess because they get the triggers there. From it dying. Can exile one cat at least. This lets me attack in. Not have to worry about trading off the land. Their hand was gas. So I lose two from that. I think I'm just dead here. They had me dead the other turn. I screwed up that sequencing with that cry that turn. So cries in, extinction events in, soul guide lantern. Probably it. Chevelle's pretty good because it can deal with some of the nonsense. Probably just agonizing remorse out to be honest. Run it back. Like Agonizing Remorse, we picked off the Crocs of that turn, but now we have Direct Graveyard Hate. Ah, I'm frustrated. We had that poor sequencing. Kai's Ghost Form, we should have cried. Because then if it dies, it doesn't come back. The way we did it allowed him to keep it up on the battlefield. So as we wait for our opponent, if there is any other decks you'd be interested in seeing, do let me know. Um, we are going to be trying to play a couple different decks. I'm going to avoid right now like the established deck. Uh, I don't really like playing Team Rec or Bant Mid Ramp, so probably won't be playing them. If you're interested in seeing some more of like the opponent's deck, like Racto Sacrifice, I'd play that. Hey Titans, how's it going? Watch out if you're uh, playing uh, Arena forced me into a reset mid-match and I couldn't sideboard. Elementals. Yeah, I could try out Elementals. Testing out Sultai now. Esper Doom, we ran into um, someone playing my deck, like the exact mirror. Yeah, just make sure you run the update before. It's like a half a gig. Yeah, I, I punted game one, missequencing miss my Cry Carnarium. But I, I think it has enough tools to grind out most decks. Especially just with all the exile effects. If ramp tends to be more, or these Rakdos decks to be as popular as they are, I'll probably end up adding a third cro I think we're on three cries and an extinction event. Probably add another extinction event to the board.
So Chevelle's actually pretty good in this matchup. You could put bounty counters on things that they sack and then force them to give you new card draw. Also, the death touch is reasonable in a lot of these matchups. Fortunately, it likely will just get extinction evented unless they play like murderous. Okay, soul guide line turn. Little unfortunate they have this and we have Tamio in hand. Okay, well they just cycle it, so their hand's not that good. It's particularly good because I'm gonna be dropping Tamio next turn. Likely naming Cryocarnarium. So the only downside this line obviously now they get this at two power. Double Uro in the bin. So no attacks here. I can trade this off. If they want to attack. Because I have the extinction event, I'm fine with doing that. This gains me three life. And I draw another card. Also, I can just fill this for Uro. Oh, top deck. Uh, what do we want? What do we want? Nisa? Probably Nisa. I can get back this Cryocarnarium. Sorry, there's a lot going on with the board right now. So I can get Atris back if I want. Uro is a nice pickup here. Um, so based on the opponent's board, probably gonna casualties or no I can get heartless act back I think we do that let's get heartless act back the story path holds our future. I'm gonna escape an arrow so one three four Probably gonna get rid of Atris. Chevelle's better in this matchup. Uh, and then we'll just put the Trinome into play here. So, Mayhem Devil's gonna die. Ah, uh, so with Oven coming in, we do get the Sack here which puts the last point of damage onto Tamio. So that was pretty much their only play where they keep priority over us. I do have casualties, so I'm not as worried here. Soul Guide Lantern is also fantastic. So I think we start by plussing here. Uh, this is a Nisa. So I'm going to do this before combat. Land, creature, artifact. Let's take him off a duel. So that way when I attack in, I can attack in for the six. They can put two points of damage. Pretty much in garbage time. I'm gonna get rid of 
the Dreadhorde Butcher, because if they get back the um, Call of the Death Dwellers, it gets Death Touch. And it gets haste, which I don't want. I want to be able... So that game went a lot better. Control the board, grind them out that way. I think we run it the exact same. Opponent was probably a little too eager at the beginning to cycle um, their uh, artifact to excel our graveyard. A lot of what we're trying to do involves the graveyard between Tamiyo and Uro. And Tamiyo just digging for Uro helps. You effectively find a card without having to name the card. To be honest, I might... I'm hesitant to cut the Questing Beast just yet because it's very good in the bank matchup, but I just haven't ran into it with this deck. But I've really liked Tamiyo. The only downside is you can mill yourself out. I've gone down to six cards with this deck between Hydra Crisis and stuff. Opponent is taking their time. What have you been playing, Titans? Are you still on Gruel? Man, this opponent. To be honest, they might have got queued out. I had this happen to me earlier where the game decided to force reset. And then you get stuck where you uh, can't sideboard. So them being on the play will be advantageous. I think we keep this. I can get ahead on lions, which gets me closer to casualties. I have a Murderous Rider early. Ooh, Extinction Event's fantastic. I think I keep the land right now. Getting to this casualties is going to be important. Uh, Extinction Event is my guess. They take anything except Extinction Event, we're in a pretty good spot. Growth Spiral is also an option. Sometimes just slowing down our decks from like a ramp perspective is good. Man, they got the oven. So the unfortunate thing with the oven is it does mean that Murderous Rider's backside doesn't come into play. We have a second drill bit. And they got cat. Oh, of course. So we really want to hit our... Jeez. Drawing two forests is also not great. And that is actually pretty solid. So I did it like this. So I can go full control now. They messed this up. Because I can Murderous Rider this. And now I can exile their cat. So they should have left it in the graveyard. So next turn I could play out Murderous Rider, hopefully 
bails us out a bit. Yeah. I actually really enjoy this matchup. There's a lot of nuance to this deck. So if they have another creature, they can force the Murderous Rider out of the way. But that means they have to sack two creatures. They're also on two lands. Eef. That's six damage I'm taking here. And they drew cat too. Might just be dead from incidental damage here. <sighs> kidding me? Well, that was a rip. So we need exactly Cry Carnarium. Atris doesn't do it. Because Atris is we're one mana short. We're dead. Most likely. Yeah. Opponent's got us. It's two damage here, two damage here, one from the cat. Ah, that one's frustrating. Game one, we punted. And there, they just had two good rips. And they hit both our key cards in that matchup. I do like the deck, though. sure my wife uh, orders dinner. Otherwise, by the time it comes, it's going to be too late. I think I want another extinction event. Should have added that in. Probably can get rid of Raska. Probably fine. Another Rakdos deck. Is this all the ladder is going to be? So, depending on what they play out here, Jund. Yeah, it's Priest. Let's go Chevelle here. If I can get this to survive its upkeep, then I'm okay, but I'm probably dead game one, just based on our draw. Two creatures. And they had claim. Growth Spiral is a safer play there, but this has more upside. It's kind of interesting that they did that. I guess they have another play, Trail of Crumbs. Cat. Yeah, opponent's got it all this game. So I'm going to steal this. Not drawing nothing but lands afterwards. We're dead there. So same board plan as last time. Soul Guide Lantern's coming in. Get rid of these Remorse. I think I actually wanted other casualties in this matchup, and we can go down to Nisa. like that.
Apparently the pizza place I order from is sold out of pineapple. I cannot get pineapple on my pizza. So that game, like, we weren't dead that next turn, but we were pretty much dead. I could have agonizing remorse the way they're thing, but we were pretty far behind at that point. Sounds much better. So I'm gonna get rid of Nisa. We're 26 lions, we should hit another land. I don't want to take the damage this turn, so I'll just play out Soul Guide on two. Perfect. This is actually pretty decent because I can Murderous Rider if needed as well. Trail of crumbs. Really wish we had blue mana. That would have been a great turn to Uro. So the question here, do I play out more to the board or do I... Because this gives him a draw otherwise. Or just exile the cat now. This could let me catch more. This, they get it back anyways, so it's not really that advantageous. I can play this out as a 2-3. But I, I do want an answer to Murderous Rider. Yeah, hold your horses, you're a Cat Oven deck. So one for one with the cat doesn't feel great, but... Provided what we have, cool. The rest doesn't hit anything, so our play ended up working out for us. This mer I'm probably just gonna kill this goose. Goose with thing is very good. Land. Not quite the land I want, but doing this now because it shuts off their draw. Here they're basically spending their whole turn to draw a card. Works out well for us. Questing Beast could start putting pressure. some lions now. Opponent digging for lions. They hit theirs. It's like the worst draw we could have had. I guess if they put in resources to kill this questing beast, I have Rider afterwards. Ramp deck not hitting its uh, card draw, or its lands. The opponent was petty, so let's be petty back. Okay, second trail. I may cycle this. 
Oh, not anymore. We were gonna cycle it. So the thing is, if I don't attack in with the Murderous Rider, this doesn't go to the graveyard, and then they can't sack this to draw two cards. So I think we do that. No blue mana really hurts here. That kind of locks them out of that play there where you're going to be able to... So they were hoping that we attack here, this dies. They bring back the Cauldron Familiar. Yeah, I have Scorching Dragonfire, so... They ended up having removal, so they use their mana anyways. This plays out their turn. Bolus is Citadel. They could potentially kill us on the spot. And they have Priest. Twenty six land deck cannot draw. A fifth land. Of course, of course, why not? They also get to Bolus' Citadel after this, and they're at 11 life, so it's pretty hard for them to lose at this point. If we had a blue source, anything like that, we would have been in a much better position. And the problem is we're behind on a land anyways. So we can hope that they whiff. Exiling now to get rid of the cat. Can, we're trying to put them as low as possible so they can't play too much. They do have this to kind of smooth out their draw. This is a frustrating match. Just not being able to draw anything past. Probably dead anyways. The sack off this. Yeah, the double mayhem devil. Triple mayhem devil. One point short. Curious. 48% chance. They got us with the Citadel. Yeah, that one's... Opponents out here drawing the nuts and I can't hit a blue source. Uh, let's try a best of one, just to kind of go from there. 